Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sorsha and in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through a cycle check-in. So you might have heard of this before, especially it's quite sort of popular or becoming more popular on social media um, to kind of share about um, yeah, what day of your cycle that you're on um, as we kind of hear more and more about menstrual cycle awareness and uh, menstrual literacy. So I thought I would share um, a couple of things that I have created to help you with this, um, which I'm really proud of, and um, different, yeah, different ways that you can um, have a little cycle check-in. So, um, first of all, I hope you're liking my shirt as well. I got this from Vinted and I just love the colours. Um, I've been after like a paisley kind of shirt. I feel like I'm envis envisaging like um, some denim flares or something with this when it gets a little bit warmer outside. So we'll, we'll see. Um, maybe like a cute vest top over it. I don't know. Um, so <laughs> yeah, so it also matches my cushions. So anything that's orange or burnt orange, I'm just immediately obsessed with in case you can't tell. So um, cycle check-in then. So um, when we are tracking our cycle, um, most of the time, um, there are a few different schools of thought on this um, because some people decide that their first day of their cycle, their new cycle is actually in the inner spring once they've had their bleed. Um, I'm of the school of thought that um, cycle day one is the first day of full flow um, of my menstrual phase of my cycle so that's just um, the preference that I choose I also just think it's easier to track like if you've got ADHD and you're not great with tracking and you forget quite a lot and then you're like oh it's here again <laughs> then it just makes it a little bit easier um, to just make it make a little note in your diary so um, yeah there's a and there's a few different things there's a few different things that you can do to um to help yourself to track um one of those things is one of my trackers so i will do a little um a little like recording separate to this just so i can show it off properly but this is just um a cycle tracker i've got a couple of different types um like this um, yeah, a few different, a few different versions of it. And what you can do is you can um, track different parts, like different elements to your cycle. So you could track, you could do all of these or you could just pick, you know, one or two. So I've got a uh, body and mind. So it might be like if I've done a meditation that day, which to be honest, I do every day, but maybe it will be they might differ in length. Um, it might be like what I've done for my body. So it might be, might just have had a really good long walk might have done some yoga, um, I might have been able to hit the gym pretty hard, do some good weights, I might have like done a run or a hit class or um, some Jane Fonda, which I just bloody love, there's some Jane Fonda YouTube um, videos like of her, I don't know if you, if you know, like, if you know, you know, <laughs> like back in the day when I was really young and my mum had them all on VHS tape and oh my gosh, that and Rosemary Conn Connolly, but I, the Jane Fonda ones are my absolute favourite and they're just so good and they're a really good like full body workout like you could just do those like if you aren't really like feeling like you know lifting weights those are amazing and they're really fun and they just don't get boring and the way she speaks about exercise she really goes from like speaking about how like what parts of the body you're like strengthening as you're doing it and just it's a really like very bo body positive way of um, working out and getting to know your body better it's not like let's all be like skinny bitches like <laughs> it's really good so um yeah so whatever you're doing you can you can make a note of it there um i've put desires so that might be like more like cravings um so sometimes that might be like sugar might be like sex um it might be like um it might even be like you know a, a business goal if you're kind of in the menstrual menstrual phase of your cycle i'm a lot more likely to kind of dream and like it might be things like starting a youtube channel starting a podcast um are you seeing a <laughs> are you seeing a familiar pattern here um i've also got sleep and temperature so some of you will take your um, basal temperature each morning i actually was in a really good habit of doing that and then i probably haven't done it for like the best part of a year but it is really good it helps you to know like when you're ovulating and then you're more likely to know like when your period is going to be because if you ovulate a bit later then your period your bleed is going to be a little bit later um mucus slash flow so like um if you are like um if you're like ovulating you'll be like oh it's like egg white down there <laughs> and then you'll know oh i'm ovulating um and also like flow is really really good to know like if you um are on like having a heavy heavy bleed day or a lighter bleed day 
that's always handy to know as well personally again like on my heavier bleed days i don't really like going to the gym i'll actually probably do maybe some really gentle restorative slash yin yoga um, and i might take a walk but it's kind of days one two and three of my cycle are those days where i'm like it's okay if i don't do um like seven to ten thousand steps today because that's kind of my goal this year is to try and do that most days um so I will kind of let myself like not do it then just because I, I don't have the energy and I'm like, this is okay. This is kind of my rest days. I don't really have like, I don't really have rest days during the rest of my cycle because I just find that it really helps me to to do some movement for my mental health. So I'm really strict on that, not because I'm like, need to get fit, need to get fit, although I am a little bit, like <laughs> that's as I put a bit of weight over Christmas. Um, but I it's more for my mental health and just the, the brain fog clearing that it brings um and you know the endorphins so the other thing is yeah the date slash day so um what date it is and then like obviously like the day um i've also put in little placements for cycle day one two three etc it goes up to day 29 i'll be honest it took me like several years to figure out how to make this um it was really tricky and actually my menstrual leadership um program like of the there you get assigned like a listener so there's a there's an amazing woman in in Norway um and uh, we were listening partners so it was a uh, was well maybe I'll discuss a, a listening partnership in another video but if you if you want to know it's really cool um but anyway she um she uh, definitely was a big part in actually creating the, the main circle itself so I've just done up to 29 days just because um it's quite a small space to write and I feel like it would get really squidged but you might have a longer cycle you might be up to like day 35 so you could always use a couple of, uh, of of pages or you could turn it over and write on the back um and then yeah i've just put a little how how you doing um <laughs> in there as well just to kind of track maybe the emotional um like where you're at emotionally in the cycle and i've also got a cycle intention so there's a little space in the middle to write your cycle intention i feel like um if you want to listen to my or go and watch my bleed on it um video um which I'll try and remember to put out before this one because I'm filming them all in different orders. Um, but the bleed on it video um, will maybe give you a bit of guidance if you want to have a um, intention for that, you know, for that specific cycle. Um, and that's a really fun, intuitive way to do it. Um, so yeah, so I will do a little, um, I'll do a little like video clip on this video to just kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I'm, I'm aware that like you probably can't really see all of the detail that I'm discussing here but I didn't for you know for years I didn't really have um like a, a wheel like this I think it's cool to do it as a wheel in my ready steady chart um free download which I definitely recommend you get I think I've already updated it to have these pages in there as well but if not I think by the time this video goes out I'll make sure that it's got the updated version um so originally that started off as like a little um you know kind of like a like a table um because i was just trying to figure out how to make it into a circle um because we're cyclical beings so i feel like having it in a circle just makes more sense um rather than like in a you know in a in a column um so yeah so but i think i i uh i think i did update it already and i think i left the both of those in because you might have a preference to what to what you use um and of course you can also just use journaling like i used my my journal for years and years and years um i always write in red pen when i'm on my bleed um i'll do the same uh actually here i have <laughs> obviously just filled out one day of it i think when i originally printed these off um because this is back last year in september i think um i'll try and find it but um yeah i always like to write in a red pen when I'm on my bleed. Can you see a little bit of it here? Um, <laughs> so ADHD, it's like, I'll just, I'll do this. I'll commit to doing this. Um, so I like to write in, in red pen and I will, <clears throat> I will keep a journal as well so often i'll be able to kind of flick through it and i'll be able to see oh there's the start of that cycle because it's in red pen so it's just easy to find you know if i want to look and see um what my emotional state was like last month for example what i was doing like where my mental health was maybe i'm thinking oh i feel like you know this time last cycle my mental health was a lot better and i, and I can look back and be like oh that's because i was doing this like i was doing 30 minutes of exercise or I was using my SAD light in the morning um and it's winter time so things like that because I'll, I'll probably forget honestly if it's not if it's not documented 
I just won't remember. Um, and that's okay. I forgive myself for that. I give myself some grace. Uh, but if you are the same, then having that, and I really like to have it written down. Um, of course, you can do all these things, you know, on your computer. Um, but I just think for me, and it's really about like what works for you. Like if that's what works for you and it means that you're actually going to be consistent and do it, definitely like fully support doing that. For me, I, I really do like to have it, um, that hand to, yeah, hand to paper connection is really important for me. And of course, you know, when I'm ovulating, I find it really hard to sit down and journal a lot. Um, I'm just not interested. <laughs> I'm much less, um, much less reflective, you know, than I am, um, than I am in like luteal phase um, and in a winter. So um, again, that's okay. I, I might just kind of, you know, either bullet, you could, you could bullet journal um, or you could just write, you know, I would just write a few bullet points. Um, and that, a lot of that is in my diary that I can see when I'm ovulating because it's just a lot shorter, you know, um, things that I'm writing. Uh, and that's okay as well it's kind of part of the fun you can just see you know I want to be up and doing stuff I don't necessarily want to be sat there you know writing um, or trying to force myself to write so yeah um, so perhaps let's just do like a little example together I won't actually fill it out at the moment um, but I could have a little look so I could see body and mind so today I've done um, a five minute meditation with the Headspace app um, I really have the urge to stretch. I haven't done any yoga yet this morning just because I'm running really late with filming. Um, and to be honest, it felt good. I had like, I read some David Goggins in my bed and I just kind of had a bit of a slower sort of start to my morning. Um, and I kind of needed that because I'm on cycle day 24. So I'm in deep in autumn luteal phase. I normally have, and they do vary, but they tend to be sort of a 25 day cycle. So it's Friday today and I'll probably be on, on Sunday. So I'm just being aware of that and that's okay. So um, I may hit the gym later on today. Um, I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite decided. I'm going to see like how how I'm feeling as the day progresses. Um, I might have like a two hour window, so I might I might pop there later on. But I do have some more things to drop off um, at the store for Vinted because um, people have bought a few more things. So I think more likely I will just have a walk down to the store. It's like a 15 minute walk there, maybe not even that. So it's kind of like, I'll probably get me out for like half an hour, you know? So I'll probably do that. Um, I will definitely have a yoga stretch. I'll probably do like a nice hip opener yoga because my hips feel really tight and my lower back has been niggling a little bit. Um, even though I did like two hours of yoga yesterday, um, and one of that was for hips and psoas. So um, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that way today. I feel a bit more like intuitive movement, probably have a little dance party as well. Um, and yeah, probably more like that rather than like going hard at the gym. Um, boyfriend is also coming around later today. So, um, I think we're going to try and do a guest pass at my gym tomorrow. So I'm sort of saving a little bit of energy for then. I know if I go hard today, um, I, I won't be able to do that tomorrow. So I'm kind of more inclined to do that. I think it'll be kind of fun bonding. Um, so yeah. And then, um, what's next on my little list? So body and mind desires desires are like definitely to like have a hip stretch that's what i'm feeling and like maybe a bit of a dance party um but also just to like smash out some videos i'm really excited today to be recording so that's like big on on there i'm kind of in that like getting shizzle done mode um that comes with like late autumn where it's like just need to have it done done is better than perfect <laughs> let's get this finished let's get the ball rolling onto the next thing um which i kind of like it's a good it's quite a fun momentum to be in um sleep and temperature i haven't taken my temperature full disclosure i'm not actually sure where my thermometer is it's probably in my medicine box drawer that needs to be i need to go through that at some point won't be today <laughs> um so i don't know my temperature it will probably be 36 point something um 36.7 i think it was for like the longest time so it'll probably be around there or 37 I think 36 point yeah something like that <laughs> um mucus flow i actually haven't checked yet um so i'm not sure um i am also really intrigued and i hope this isn't t tmi but we are on a you know cycle syncing channel but i was reading about the mu mu the mucus the mucus plug so like in luteal phase you get the mucus plug and that stops the sperm getting through um and so one of i think it was claire baker um who's really great you should definitely follow her on instagram she's amazing um but she was talking about like noticing when the mucus plug like drops out and then your bleed will come i don't think i've 
I think maybe once I've noticed this, but I don't think I really registered what it was. It probably sounds disgusting, but like, I think it's really cool. Um, so I'm kind of like on watch for like the mucus plug. I'm like, is that where, when is that gonna come? Um, so that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at if you really wanna know. Um, I just think it's so, cool. our bodies are so cool. Um, date and day, um, we're in February. Valentine's Day is next week. I wanna say it's the ninth today. Um, and cycle day 24 for me so as i say deep in autumn um and how am i doing i'm actually feeling pretty good i felt really sleepy at the start when i woke up at like half seven i did wake up very naturally and it was like to the sound of rain which was really nice um but i was like oh man luteal phase boobs are a bit achy feet aren't actually too bad but i think it's just because i did a nice like yoga stretch yesterday and we did a little foot massage um as i was as i was doing it as well so that was quite nice um and yeah actually feeling quite hopeful quite excited for these videos um and yeah i think a little bit spacey <laughs> um but my my adhd meds are like kicking in as we speak so that's helping and i'm just trying to make sure i stay really hydrated um not massively hungry i kind of had like some um some protein cereal with some protein yogurt um rather than my usual eggs um and a little bit of dark chocolate as well, which I'm eyeing up because there's some more over there <laughs> for later. Um, so yeah, feeling like, yeah, feeling pretty good, pretty positive, um, a little bit spacey, um, and I've kind of got like half a day planned, so I'm gonna smash out some videos, but then I've got quite a restful like afternoon, hopefully, because I'm not very good at taking rest, so that's something that I'm practicing yet. I'm not very good yet at taking rest. Okay, so I hope that was useful for you um as i say I'll, I'll make sure i put in some little clips on here and um yeah perhaps i'll wait a few days until i kind of finish this video so that i can start filling in um a few of the days when my bleed comes and then you can kind of get a good idea of, of how to fill it out probably do a few shorts with it as well so you can see um yeah okay well let me know how you um enjoy tracking your cycle make sure you download my free um little guide it's called ready steady chart really really good uh super cute really pretty and it's got you know some of those charting um sheets in there as well and also just like a little bit more into like yeah um you know how you can how you can chart what you can write about there's loads more you can do in terms of like moods there's a little like um mood mood wheel like emotions wheel in there as well and um it's just a really handy tool especially if you struggle if you're if you're neurospicy and you struggle to like identify emotions i can't remember the scientific name for that but it is a, it is a thing um then that may help you um to yeah to recognize what that emotion is and also maybe where you store it in your body um right i'm gonna wrap this up now so thank you very much for joining me today i hope you liked my 70s print uh shirt and um <laughs> and i hope you folks have a really good rest of your day and i will see you in my next video thanks for tuning in bye